Today we're back with my 2023 Honda Civic Type R and we are gonna be talking about spare tires. So there is not a spare tire kit available for the 2023 Honda Civic Type R. Uh, this is pretty much what you get in the back of the car. It is a tire repair and inflation kit. You get a tow hook, a little tool right here, no jack, and then you get this. So uh, pretty useless in an emergency situation, unless if you just have a small nail on the tire or something like that. So I did some research. Previous generation Civic Type R's, the FK8, had a spare tire kit, but it was discontinued after a few years and I, they're pretty hard to find. You can find them, they're out there, they're about 500 bucks for everything. Uh, it comes with a tray that covers everything, but it doesn't fit in the FL5. The spare tire will bolt in, the tools and everything will bolt in, but you'll have to kind of solve an issue with this loading floor right here. And uh, again, it's not designed for the new Civic rear area. So that is an option. However, I did some research and I found, I think, a cheaper solution that might work for a few more people who want to save some money. There's also Modern Spare. They make spare tires for a bunch of different applications, including the Type R. That's just kind of a tote bag that you can just throw in the back of your car. But again, it's not secure, it's not permanent. So let's see how this works. First, so some information about this. So 05 to 2012 Acura RL is a five by 120 bolt pattern and According to my research, this should all bolt up. I bought this on eBay, 200 bucks shipped. Uh, came with a spare wheel and tire, the center insert here with a jack, your tools. This won't work on the Type R, this is for the Acura RL. We've got a screwdriver, and then I bought this, it was like 13 extra dollars, also on eBay. The type R is interesting in that it has a 22 millimeter lug nut, all right? And guess what? The Acura RL also has a 22 millimeter lug nut. So everything is kind of the same, which is pretty awesome. All right. Uh, should already be aligned, ready to go. So one note about the spare tire from the Acura RL, it's a 17 by four inch rim and it will not fit over the front brakes of the Type R. So if you get a flat tire on the front of your car, you can jack up the whole side of the car with this front jack point right here. That'll lift both wheels. Move your rear tire that's hopefully, hopefully still okay to the front and then put the spare on the rear. Lugs were already loosened. beautiful braid wheel and moment of truth I actually haven't done this yet so don't really know if this fits or not but it all should fit exactly great all right hub bore everything is spot on so you can bolt this up all right and you should be just fine with brake clearance and everything else. Nice, bright yellow. I've inflated this to 60 PSI. And again, another reason why you want the spare tire on the rear is because the Type R has a front limited slip differential and any difference in tire size or tire diameter between the two front wheels is gonna cause a difference and over a long period of miles could potentially damage that front diff. So we kind of want these smaller spares on the rear axle anyway, just to uh, avoid that issue. Okay, so everything bolts up. I'm not seeing any points at which this would rub. There's plenty of brake caliper clearance. Hub bore is exact, bolt pattern, all that good stuff. Uh, you know, it's a little bit worn out and ratty looking, but that's okay. Okay, let's put this in the trunk and see what that looks like. One disadvantage to the setup is of course, this is potentially a pretty old tire and it looks like it's never actually been used. No dry rotting, no cracking. The comp compound's a little bit harder, but it should work in an emergency situation. The alternative is that you could just throw one of the stock wheels and tires if you have a set of aftermarket wheels or vice versa in the trunk, but that's gonna take up significantly more space.
All right, off with the spare, on with the beautiful braid wheel. Still loving these full race FFs. Okay, all right, so moment of truth. How does this look in the trunk? You're gonna wanna mount this upside down and you can see right in the trunk there, there is a threaded screw hole to bolt this into the frame, the chassis, and it looks like the tires all rest on these points right here. So you're not gonna get the wheel scratched up, which is very nice. This is a standard Honda Acura temporary tire piece. Put it out in the light here so you can see a little bit easier, but you can kind of flip it around for different use. I'm gonna put it with the normal tire facing up and that will be the right length for this threaded hole. Okay, good. Tighten it down a little bit so it doesn't move around. It's nice and solid. Okay, now we have our jack, our tools. I'm actually gonna transfer the Type R tow hook into here. All right, here's our Type R tow hook. A little bit longer than the Acura and a different thread pitch. So that's important, that won't work if you just swap it over. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite fit in here. You can maybe cut this piece out a little bit or extend it on this side or just put it somewhere else entirely. Uh, one thing I do like about this RL is that there's a little space for your wheel key if you want it in this little hole right here. All right, so this is gonna be considerably higher than the standard load floor, but that's what it looks like. You've got some space on the sides where things could potentially fall in. So that could be an issue of concern. You could probably fill that in with like a towel or something like that. But it does give you a place to put like a jug of milk or something else, a backpack, wedge it in there. This load floor is actually kind of nice in that it's a little bit higher. You don't have to reach so far down to get into things, but uh, it doesn't look as pretty. So let's see what it looks like with the seats up. Okay, this I could probably live with. Um, it's not ideal, but this is kind of what it would look like, what a stock solution would look like as well. So there are compromises to be made here. Let me turn on a light so you, can, you guys can see this a little bit easier. And there's no rubbing, no clearance issues. And then I have driven around with a spare tire in the back, no noise, no sound, no ever extra NVH or volume on the highway. Now the problem is if you wanna put a rubber floor mat in the back of your Type R, that's when you run into issues. So it tucks in kind of behind the rear seats nicely. It's just not pretty, unfortunately. But it does get rid of those holes and kind of covers them. And this is a pretty solid loading surface. It slopes downward right here. So pros and cons, and then it just doesn't look good right here, but it will keep things in place. So that's what it's looking like with a spare tire. Not the best solution. I did see a couple photos of a 2023 Civic Type R with a spare tire. It was overseas, so I don't know if other markets are getting kits and that will eventually become available in the US at some capacity, but uh, for now, kind of hard to tell what's gonna go on with that. And this might be one of the cheapest solutions if you want a spare tire in your Type R. Personally, I don't know if I'm gonna run this on a regular basis. If I'm going on a road trip, I would rather take a full-size spare wheel and tire with me so that I could just run it all day long if I potentially had an issue and not have to worry about it impacting my travel plans. But for local trips here in Michigan, and if I don't need the space, this is pretty easy to swap in and out. And it doesn't really affect cargo space that much. One thing I did do was I put a just a towel above this area so that this foam 
doesn't rub and make any noise. And this also gives you a way to wash your car if you want to. There we go, that's silent now. No noise, no sound. All right guys, there's a quick video on a potential solution for a spare tire with the 2023 Honda Civic Type R. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck out there. Let me know if you guys have found any better solutions, but uh, I think for now, this might be the cheapest option. You can find these Acura RL kits on eBay. The wheels themselves, the wheel and tire, just that alone is, you can get them for about a hundred bucks, maybe a little bit less. And uh, the foam piece is a little bit trickier to find, but you can always piece that together. And really all you need is a jack and a tire iron. So, okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Take care.